Rock FM 90.9. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old. Welcome everybody back day three of the District 5 All-Star Major League Tournament uh, Dixie Youth. I'm John Hart along with Robert Hart, Tim on top of the elephant and also Jenny that's uh, kind of taking all the orders and stuff for our DVDs which you can order them right here at our broadcast booth. Well here it is it's coming down to it and this is kind of Kind of the semifinals, if you want to talk, want to talk about that. Yep, final four teams left. Start yep. out with seven, we're down the four, and two, one, possibly two could go home tonight. Well, we got uh, Lunenburg that's uh, going to go up against Crew Burkeville, and uh, Crew Burkeville uh, kind of got stomped on a little bit last night. And they are probably ready for some serious revenge, and yeah. they're going to want to take it out. They're going to want to take it out on Lunenburg, but Crew Burkeville. Wow, they just happen to have a go up against a very, very hot uh, Charlotte team last night. Oh yeah, I mean that's all there was to it. Charlotte was on, and Crew was not. Charlotte will go up against the Dinwiddie Nationals, and they were to both the uh, finals, uh, final and semifinal last year that went on to the uh, state. Of course, uh, you know about Charlotte, they went on to the World Series, but nevertheless, you know. Very, very, four very, very good teams. Anyway, starting out pitching will be Josh Payton, who did an excellent job yesterday. Not sure how many innings he has left. On the crew side, Pete Reed will be starting out pitching, followed by Dustin Reynolds, Jaquel Garnster, him, and batting cleanup will be Thomas Parrish. All right, here comes the first. That one's going to be in there for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Painter, very good yep. pitcher. I mean, we're seeing some excellent pitching. Oh, yeah. I can't. don't know where that missed at, neither. Yep. <laughs> here it comes. That's a strike. Yeah, can air for strike. One, same one exact ball, pitch. One strike. <laughs> it was, was the same pitch. exact pitch as the first one. It uh, did look like, again, once again, the very tight strike zones here just haven't causing pitchers a lot of trouble. Painter now winds up. Here comes the pitch. That was, was going to be in there for strike number two, one ball and two strikes. Yeah, Lundberg has been kind of a success story for his tournament. Not very many people pegged him to go very far, and they've just surprised everyone in every game they've played so far. Well, they can surprise you. Here comes the next pitch, and that's going to be ball number two, two balls and two strikes. One of the things, of course, I've been critical of, and so has Tim up top, is, is just that in this heat, and then they narrowed the strike zone and made these pitches pitch a lot of pitches. And oh, this one's going to be a foul back in towards the white elephant. Tim, you okay up there? Yeah, it hit somebody's car. That's not mine. <laughs> that brand new Toyota truck there. Ooh. Well, I got my car kind of parked kind of close. <laughs> oh. You're going to lose Maybe the windshield, during, bud. If I get by with this one during the uh, between uh, innings or something, I go out there and move it. Here comes now the pitch. That high, one's going to be high. high. And here we go. Starting off, first thing, full count. Uh, and this heat, by the way, record. You can't tell by the video, but we are in a record-setting heat today. And Tim's been up there like cooking an egg on his head. It's so hot. All right. Here we go. Full count. Hard hit ball. That's going to get through right, the second baseman. So go out to the right fielder. He will field the ball, and he's going to bring it on into the second baseman. Oh, he bobbled and it, though. And he bobbled the ball. And Reed will stay right on first base. But Reed... Travel ball player, good hitter. Very, very. He's a very, very good base runner as well. And he showed why right there. This brings up Dustin Reynolds, the second baseman for uh, Crew Burkeville. I think he's second baseman. They changed the lineup at the last second, so we had to do a little bit of scrambling to get our notes right. Oh, nice base hit by Pete Reed. Hi. Dustin Reynolds uh, take that one for a ball. One ball and no strike. God, what would we do without air conditioning inside the white elephant? Here it comes down the wind up in the pitch. And this one's going to be a hard hit ball uh -oh, out to right oh. field. And he's trying to over his field, head. And he missed it. And there goes Pete Reed. He's going to zoom around. They're going to try, try to get, get him at third and in a very dangerous throw. He made there easily. 
You know, Lundberg. I would have never made that throw, though. That was a very dangerous throw. He would have missed, and yeah. Reed would have gone in the home for the score. And Lundberg needs to be very careful here. They can't be making mistakes like this at this late in the late in the tournament. Those mistakes will kill you. That brings up Jaquel Garns, who uh, hit a nice uh, hit last night, if I remember. Well, he got, had a home run last yeah. night. Here comes now the pitch. Right. That one's going to be in there for ball number one. Reynolds will trot right on down to second. Yep. Nice steal now for Reynolds. And Garns has been on fire. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. This one's going to go right in a beautiful base hit. Crew Burkefield will score one. And there they're going to try to score another one. They slide in. They do. And he drops the ball. And he is absolutely safe. And that will be a double. Two RBIs. With the two RBIs, okay. And Lindenberg finds himself behind now, two to zero early here in the first inning. Still well, you no got to look outs. at all earned runs, two base, yeah. two base hits, and a double, and Crew Bill finds himself a hit two to nothing. Yep. And now here comes uh, Thomas Parrish. Thomas Parrish has actually had a little bit of trouble hitting the ball as far as he's moving this people around though. But he has moved some people around. Oh, there goes runner third. And he kind of started, stopped, and then poured on the gas. And that was Garns, by the way. Made it to third base. So runner in scoring position. Still no outs. It's ball one for Thomas Parrish. Hayden Lau looks. Winds up in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, and then in. for strike one. And that ball was a little bit low, I believe. Yeah, I hear oh, less. Yes. I can hear less back there right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he'll probably get chewed out. He's a, <laughs> Les is the coach. Les Rourke is the coach, and he's a travel ball coach for Thomas Parrish. Here comes the pitch. That was low again, but Thomas is going to lay off on this one. Yeah, and now to be in there for ball two. I think the days of swinging over bad ones are now over. <laughs> two balls and one strike. Here comes Paytoner now with a pitch. Swing oh. and a miss. Strike two. That was hot. He, yeah. He kind of burned it in there, though. I don't think Thomas could really see it that good, frankly. Well, I don't know. Thomas Parrish has got eyes like a cat. Here comes the pitch from Peyton Ooh, in low the dirt. Outside. Low and outside. Another full count. That's the second full count we've had in this pitching series. Yeah, and the last one ended with a base hit. So, Well, Parrish during the regular season, he can hit the ball. He also had about five or six home runs during the season. And oh, that one's going to be ball yeah. four. And not a good time for a walk for Lunenburg. No. He still had not gotten that first O either. So two base hits, a double and a walk. Parrish will go on down to second base with this problem, and they better not try to throw him out. It's almost impossible as fast as he is. Ricky Aguilar at the bat now for a crew. Here comes the pitch, and there it goes. They might even try. He just trots. Parrish just trots down to second base and just kind of starts trotting a little bit as he gets about three feet towards the bag. They might even try to get in. Okay, one ball. No balls and one strike. He threatens the bunt. Everybody charges, and it will go foul for strike number two. Runners on second and third right now. And I tell you, that, that, that runner on third needs to be careful, especially with that bunt way in the air. If had, had that been caught, that would have been a double play. Mm. Yeah, it would have. You're right. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Ooh, that one's down side. there, a little bit low, one ball and two strikes. Well, hot day out here in Lindenburg. Boys as ever. Here comes a wind up in the pitch. I think Tim looked well, it up I mean, earlier. He says 115 degree heat index like that. 110 in index. Mm. Well, I got to hand it to all the kids who have played this week. They have played into some extreme heat, hot weather. And it's summertime. What can we say? Yeah. It's to be expected, of course. But there comes a wind up in the pit. Right. Swing and a miss. Strike number three, and finally, first strikeout. That brings up Joseph Atkins, third baseman for the uh, crew of Burkeville squad. And that first all important out. Took, took Lindenberg a while to get it, but they finally got it. Well, now they're coming. Crew of Burkeville is at the middle of their lineup. Runners on second and third with one out. And that was going to be in there for strike one. 
Yeah, that would have been a strike no matter what there. They booked the play or not. Painter, good pitcher. We've seen them all. There comes the pitch we're talking about out of second. That's the ball one. But Painter has been really grueling it out in the last couple of days. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. seen a lot. And that also means he probably can't play very many innings today. Lunenburg's got to go for the win, and he's one of the best pitchers that they had. All right, here's the base hit. Oh, and bad hop. The second baseman. Another run will score, and two runs will actually score. So Reynolds and Parrish will score and make that now a 4 to nothing game. And a nice, uh, just a hard hit. Like I said, I'm thinking that uh, Cruz taking out their aggression from uh, Sharp last night on poor Lunenburg right now. Sometimes you have a bad night. That's why they allow you to lose two in the tournament here. Double elimination. Here comes the pitch. Low. Oh, I thought that thing was low. Uh, no, I was right there at the knees. Yeah, okay. I didn't think they'd call that in this <laughs> league. They did today. They haven't been. All right. So let's see what Trip Jones can do. Atkins at first base for Crew Burkeville. They lead four to nothing against Lindenburg right now. Here in the first inning, here's the pitch. High again. High for ball two. Two balls and one strike. Or one ball and two balls and one strike. Two balls. All right. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. That one's going to be sliced back. It's going to go foul. Out of play. Two and two now comes the count. Well, we had one bad thunderstorm in the second. It was a rough one, right, too. The first night, actually. That's why things got kind of pushed back. We're trying to get things back on schedule here. As far as oh, the tournament goes, swing and a miss, and that strike out. And it got him on got dust him. out. And what a good play by Lunenburg. So, one man, well, actually, no man left on base if you want to get down to it. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the Third and final out comes. It's four to nothing. Four runs scored by Crew Burkeville. Four to nothing. We will be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend. You were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No. Not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. All right, back here at Lynn Hard Field. John Hard, Robbie Hard, and Jenny Hard here on Taking DVDs. Tim is up there. Burning in the hot sun. Burning in the hot <laughs> sun, but doing a great job on the camera. Yeah. In fact, I think this is probably some of our best videos we have <coughs> on, Robbie, if, uh, of, of the All-Stars for the third year we've been doing them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it, you can see the progression. Every year it gets a little bit better. All right. Barnes is going to be starting off pitching for the crew Burkeville. And here, we, know LJ, crew, yeah, we can tell Crew Burkeville's closer to the crowd, Mike. They're trying to cheer their team on. L.J. Watson will be batting first for the Lunenburg All-Stars. Barnes will wind up in the pitch. Way inside. That's going to be inside. Ball number one. One ball and one strike to Garns. Well, actually, not to Garns. I want to say to L. J. Watson. L.J. Watson. L.J. Watson, yep. Yep. 
wind up. Here comes the pitch. And a hard hit ball to the third baseman. He one hands it, picks it up, and it's going to be got close. Him. He got him. He's out. That was and that close. was close. That was very close. And I don't think Lunenberg is happy about that call. Boy, that was, no, that was he close. Was, he was there. That's going to be a good one to look on the videos later on in instant replay and see what it is. <laughs> Well, not instant replay. We don't have that. Okay. Yeah, I want that in the budget next year. What do you think? You, yeah. right. you make that happen there, Mr. Hot? Maybe. Josh Pettner <laughs> winds up, throws it. Strike. And there is strike number one. Nice pitch by Garns. Josh Pettner is the batter now. He's, of course, the pitcher for the Lunenburg All-Stars. And the key thing is not to throw no 30 pitches in, in one inning. That's what kills yeah. your pitchers. Yep. Garns now winds up. Here comes the pitch. I'm still in there. That's going to be... Outside. Uh, no, it's strike. Oh, that's that strike. Yeah, that was filling over strike two. Was a, I thought that was an outside pitch. Well, it's definitely a strike. All right. No balls and two strikes. At least it's good to see a good pitching game going on here. Here comes a wind up pitch. Now that is low for ball one. One ball and two strikes. How much doubt about that one? Carnes, we've seen a lot of him. Hit some home runs, and he's been on fire at the bat side, especially oh, hard hit ball. Yeah. That's going to be a beautiful hit all oh, the way to the right field. That's going to get by uh, the right fielder, get all the way to the fence, and a nice double. Yeah, I got past not uh, Nolan Snyder out there, but he had like no chance. That thing was that thing was was a, yeah. was a rocket ship it, heading to the right field. He had it was hit on the line. Hey, I told you we'll not do this. Let's go. And that's going to bring out Mr. Foster now. Second baseman for the uh, Lunenburg All-Stars. And now Lunenburg's trying to come back with his hot bats there. So here's the pitch. Good that was going to be outside ball one. Good. Lots of good players on his crew, Burkeville team. There comes Garns, winds up, kicks the knee high, and lets one go in there for a swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball and one strike is now the count. I want to say, folks, thanks for tuning in to www.wpexonline.com and listening to the game. Those of you that cannot pick the video stream up, you definitely can pick this one up. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a little bit outside. Yeah, even, uh, even if you got a dial-up, Clark can press. Audio, you can pick it up. A lot of people can. And that works to go over the video, though. Yep, don't work at all on video. Two balls and one strike. <laughs> audio, you can hear it at least. Runner on first base, I mean second base. That's Painter for Lunenburg on second base. Here comes the pitch. This uh, one's yeah. going to be a chop foul. Painter will run to third, and they race to second base, and Robinson will win that one, and that brings up the second out. That takes out false. That does bring Painter to uh, third base, though, but you're right. Now it's two outs. You're kind of behind the gun now. Ethan Hoover at the back, clean up batter. So I guess if you want anyone batting right now, this is the person. I marked the wrong bat. Okay, Foster. Oh yeah, mixed up on that one. Oh, okay. Ethan Hoover at the bat. Hoover, Hoover can hit the ball. Hoover can definitely hit the ball. Here comes the wind up the pitch. This one's going to be way low for ball. Here it comes. Here it comes the. It's going to be close. Safe. Safe. And that's four to one now. Nice base running by Lindenberg. Let's go, let's happy man, let's go. You can beat all the one, get ran out, let's go. Let's see what Hoover can do. Here comes now the pitch from Garnes. He looks and takes aim, now winds up. Here comes the pitch, a little bit high in there for ball two. Two balls and one strike. Or no strike, right? Shadows are starting to get a little bit longer as the sun starts to head towards the west, but still pretty hot out there. The wind up, here comes the pitch. And this one's going to be a chop foul. And that's being it. Strike one. Two balls and one strike. And we also want to thank everybody that's tuned into SouthsideSportsNetwork.com and watching our live video stream. Yep. Put a lot of work into it this year. Yeah. Sure have. All right. 
Here comes now the wind up and the pitch. Hard hit ball to the second base. Oh my, oh my God, it went right through. And that will be in there for, you know, for a base hit, rather. You know, you see this a lot. You know, mistakes like this will happen when it's so hot, you know, you're worried about sweat coming down your brow when you're playing baseball. But it's rough out there today. Brutal, I'd say. Well, the only thing is a poor second baseman has not been able just to get down, yeah. you know. That brings up uh, Nate Nolan at the bat now for Lindenberg. Nate, keep your head in there. Put it in a hole so I stop. Nate Nolan will almost represent halfway through the batting order. Not getting the super subs, but. All right, here comes the wind up. Here comes the pitch. And uh, same, same umpire, by the way, calling all, 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 been on the last couple of days. <laughs> and there for strike one, I can tell by the way he says, hey. Careful, Tim. Don't say it. Don't say anything, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a nervous way he says it, you know. Here it comes the hell to wind up the pitch. That's going to be an error for strike two. So we got no balls and two strikes. One more strike and uh, Lundberg, I mean, uh, Krug gets out of this. Now there's only one point scored against them. Yep. No runners on, well, one runner on the base. And Hoover at first base for Lundberg. Here comes the pitch. Oh, Swing and a miss, strike three. Now we tie the side. So as we go to the top of the second, uh, one run will score, one run left on base. It's four to nothing in favor of Crew Burkeville. We'll be right back right after this. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. I used to dance to this song back in the late 70s. How can you dance to it? There's no beat to it. Oh, you do the hustle. you never done the hustle. Uh, the hustle was for Folks, was you got to understand, Robbie was been deprived. Robbie's been deprived of doing the hustle. Of popular dance back in the late 70s and early 80s, you know. <laughs> Early 70s, I don't know about the early 80s. I was getting ready to well, say. Uh, well, late 70s, actually. I used to do that. Yes. Whatever you call late there, buddy. Whatever you call late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyway, we got a good game I would try to here. do it now, but I don't think it would be too good to do this. We don't have room. This pillar is kind of tight with all the equipment we got shoved into here, you know. <laughs> that brings up Mr. Robertson, Vaughn Robertson, will be batting first for crew, followed by Scott Spencer, Noel Snyder, and after him, finally, will be Seth Finch. Them two are almost at the other, not counting the super subs, they're almost at the end of their batting order. In there. So one or two more innings like this. Okay, high. here comes the pitch, will be ball high, ball one. I want to appreciate everybody at here at Lenard Field treating us really nice. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us here. Ball number two is thrown. So Painters finds a two balls and no strikes. So he's a little bit behind right now. Debug Knight is getting us some water down here to keep us all hydrated. 
And this one is going to be foul. And what a catch by Hoover. An overhead catch. Nice, yeah, that was good. Nice one. Oh, what a beautiful catch. And he's got a big old smile on his face. <laughs> you can see his teeth a little bit as well. Hoover's got some pretty teeth, doesn't he? He's smiling that one. <laughs> This brings up Scott Spencer at the bat now for the Hoover uh, All-Stars. And that represents the first down. Here comes the pitch, screen and miss, strike one. Well, one thing we have seen in this game, and actually we haven't seen too many in prior games, is uh, a lot of batters are swinging this time. Yeah. Okay, here comes the pitch. This one is going to be pop out. Foul back. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. That sound good. <laughs> almost hit that white car over there. <laughs> you mean you talk about mine? No, right next to yours. <laughs> oh, getting awful close. All right, no balls and one strike. And there, uh, that was strike, strike two. That's strike, strike three. Strike three. So, strike out. Let me write that down. That brings up Mr. Nate Nolan. Strike. You know, I get the feeling the umpire has actually increased his strike zone just a little bit for this game. Well, I think he was way too tight. Yeah, you know, maybe he's actually prior games. One ball, and one, no yeah. balls and one strike. He probably got sick of sting out there. It's oh, yeah. Midnight Swing and a miss. They did that and then made, made up for it out here in the field, missing two calls on first base. <laughs> <laughs> I might comment about that. <laughs> All right, here comes the next Whoa. pitch. Low ball one, one ball and two strikes now to Mr. Snyder. Seth Finch will be on deck, and he will be a super sub coming off to let the subs bat one time if they're not in the game. Here comes the wind-up pitch, strike number three. Three up and three down. Three up and three down. Wow, that's something that we don't see very often in this tournament. A nice pitching, um, nice pitching by Nolan. We, I mean, not Nolan, but um, um, Painter. by Painter. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry about that. Anyway, no. No, nobody on deck. I mean, nobody on the base. It is now four to one. Still remains as Crew Brickville will come up to bat. I mean, Lindenberg will come up to bat. We'll be right back. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Well, and the balls are being thrown down and uh, getting ready to resume action as Lindenberg will now come up the bat. Jeffrey Goodwin will be batting first for Lindenberg. Catcher. Well, I'm right. Big number 10. All right, here we go. Garns will sit there and stretch a little bit. Now takes aim. He's ready to pitch. Here comes a wind-up. A oh, little high. bit. Oh, actually very high. One ball and no strikes. I don't think we can got the umpires call a ball on that one, can we? Negative. <laughs> All right. Here comes now the next pitch. Catch by the fan. And that one's uh, going to be an hit. Strike one. One ball and one strike. Hot day out here in Linhard Field in Lunenburg, Virginia. It's a warm one. No doubt about it. Yes, it is. 
Now well, here comes a wind up. Carnes winds up, takes aim, shoots, and a hard hit ball. This one's going to get right in the seam between third and short. And it'll go all the way to left field. And Mr. Goodwin, Goodwin gets on base with a nice base hit. That was a nice base hit there. A nice shot. Clint, now will be Deshaun Moore, center fielder for uh, Bloomberg. Well, let's see what Deshaun can do. They're trailing four to one. Boy, I'll tell you one thing. In this tournament, that's not much of a lead. Here oh, comes the wind up and the pitch. High. Ball's a little bit high by one. That was this, definitely hot. This is the semifinals. There's only four teams left right now. And two of them are playing. Here comes the wind up the pitch. That one's going to be in there for ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Got 30% chance of thunderstorms this evening. Oh, well, we hope it, it. Hope it'll all hold off and not really. Hold off until this tournament's at least over with. Here comes the pitch, and this was going to be a chop foul, and that's in there for strike one. One ball and one strike. The guards will kind of just lazily walk back to the mound there and gets up on top. Hey, conserve your energy. It's exactly. all about conserving energy. Exactly. Robinson very close to first base. And here comes the pitch. That one's in there for ball three. That's a three and one count. Here we are at the bottom of the second. Lunenburg's up to bat. Playing crew Burkeville for the semifinals. Winner this will host tonight's winner. Here comes now the pitch. And that was in there for strike number two and a full count. And how many pitches have gone pitched so far, Robert? 25. 25, which I want to say that's not may not be super good, but it's not super bad either. And that's going to be in there for ball four. Well, just five pitches. He just kind of threw out the window there. That brings up Mr. Chris Fowler, third baseman for Lunenburg. Runners now on first and second. Get that mean with it. Well, a nice base hit by Jeff Goodwin, and now a walk by Moore. And that's right, that's uh, runners on first and second for Lunenburg. Tying run is now up at the plate. Garns will now step back up to the play, uh, mound for Crew Burkeville. Looks, winds up, and the pitch. Outside. And it's in there for ball outside. Hey, when you get serious with it, you get serious with it. I gotta say, if you're if you're a crew, you're probably trying to say Parrish for this game tomorrow if you can. So you don't want to, you don't want him to come in until at least the uh, fourth well, inning. Read all right, he spreads a bunt. That yeah. ball is in there, and that's going to be in there for. You're right. I didn't strike realize. Strike one. It. I thought it was a strike. Was that a ball? Yeah, it was no, a strike. No, it was a strike. It was a strike. One, one, one ball and one strike. Okay, make sure I update my scoreboard correctly. For the folks at home, know what's going on. Yeah, they still got Reed to pitch. Here comes a wind up, the pitch. That was going to be in there for ball two. Two and one is a count. And here comes the coach of Crew Burkeville. He sees something that he don't quite like with Garns. He's going to come and out I, here and talk about it. I got to say, if I was a pitcher, I'd be saying, hey, coach, you better not be coming out of here without a bottle of water. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> you better, there'd be a, better be a bottle of water in your left hand when you come see me. Otherwise, I'm not talking to you. Well, he didn't bring a bottle of water. <laughs> I would bring so I would. I would have brought a little bottle of water and let him get a few sips anyway. Speak a few sips in. You know, pour it over your head, whatever it takes, you know, get to cool down. I mean I was playing that's what I do. Pour a bottle with hot like this, pour the water over your head. Cools you off great. <laughs> Two balls and one strike. All right, we resume play now. See what here comes the pitch. This one's going to be in there for ball three. Three balls and one strike. Hey, you got one to burn right here, okay? Make sure it's strike. So it says, like the coach says, he's got one to burn, so he'll probably be 
Place comes right down the pike. You'll probably be off of it. Here comes Garns. He's going to make him throw a strike this time, and he doesn't. That will be a walk, and that will load the bases up. That brings up Cameron Field, super sub for the Lunenburg All-Stars. Anytime you start walking these super subs, and the back side of your lineup is not okay. good. They are going to bring Perry. And here they are. They're going to bring, bring in bring Thomas in the heat. Parrish. Bring it in the heat. It's going to take him about a batter, probably get warmed up anyway. So. Well, we're going to take a quick timeout as Thomas Perry for Crew Burkeville will come in and pitch. And, and we'll be right back right here on the Southside Sports Network. Do not go away. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No. Not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stat. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Parrish is throwing around in the infield warming up. I don't think his catcher's quite ready. They probably have only one guy that can really catch from on a team since he throws so fast. Well, you know, during the regular season, you know, uh, Parrish actually had, had messed up a few fingers himself. Now, <laughs> uh, and, and they, had, they, they had somebody having trouble catching Parrish when he pitches. Yeah. But, yeah, he throws the ball very, very hard, very, very fast. Garns leaves not, didn't leave that bad of a record here. He got, uh, he threw 31 pitches total. 16 of them were strikes, 15 balls. Those three hits did hurt him a little bit, but not too bad. His team's still in the lead by 4-1, to one, and uh, two walks finally what kind of did him in. And here's the thing. Um, well, any Garns can actually pitch tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's what they're, they're, yeah. they're trying to save him. I still think they were going to try to at least go to, to a third inning with uh, Garns, but you know, sometimes things just don't work out that way. So it's four to nothing in favor of uh, Crew Burkeville, Lunenburg and Crew Burkeville. These guys have played, by the way, these guys have played each other during the regular season. Yeah. Um, they played on different teams, of course, but uh, the crew team, at, uh, the, some of the crew team like VFW and Legion, which uh, they only had two teams. Yep, they they uh, they played Lunenburg in some of the, you know. Interconference, you know, so they've seen quite a bit of each other, so they know each other. Yeah, and that's just a bad thing. I, I think Blackson should do more of that personally. I do too. Oh, you know, yeah. It is what it is. Well, it makes it more fun. It's yeah, kind of rough when teams. you go through the entire uh, when you go through the entire season and you only got two, three teams on there, you know. Yeah. I think that's the biggest problem that uh, Crew had. And I think they're going to line up uh, Mr. Cameron Fields coming at the bat now for the Bloomingburg All Stars. So Parrish will grab the old Cameron Field, uh, Fields. bag there and kind of get the sweat absorbed. Yeah. We can get a good grip on the back, and here we go. Four to nothing. Here comes the pitch from Parrish. That one's going to be high for ball one. A little bit, actually a little bit inside. And I got to say, I think even Parrish is going to struggle a little bit with this umpire calling as tight as, tight as he is. Par Parrish is used to hitting the corners a lot. Here comes down the pitch. Hard hit oh, ball. Wow. This one is going, 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 gone. Wow. Grand slam. <laughs> By the Ooh, super slam. Well. <laughs> wow. Of all the time to hit a grand slam, you've got to admit, for Lunenburg, that was a 
you just gotta feel prepared. She, that guy just got a hold of that one and took it right out. And Paris turns around and says, guys, I threw him a, a heck of a pitch. A fastball. He just, I, I mean, I threw one right down the middle, right, and it went out of here, and that gives Lindenberg a 5-4 to four lead. Yeah. This one shoots down in there for a ball, strike one. This is Michael Minnick up the bat now. With that, of course, like the Lindenberg does come out ahead now. Here comes Paris winds up. Strike number two. One, no balls and two strikes. Well, even the best pitchers get yeah, it happens. hit off you in a while. It happens. But I think Paris is probably the best pitcher in this tournament. I'll be in there for ball one. It's a little outside. I mean, you got to give credit to Cameron Field there. He just waited on that one and took it right out. <coughs> Paris All right, here up. comes Parrish, winds up, and this one's going to be foul back. That's a hand stinger there. Yeah. His hands are now singing a tune there with the vibration. That analogy, huh? <laughs> here comes the pitch. Nope. That was going to be low for ball number one. No, number two. two. Ball two. 22. 22 is count. Two balls, two strikes, bomb of the second. Parrish winds up. Here comes the pitch. That one's going to be a little bit low. Ball three. Another full gun situation. Oh, that was ball. He oh, called it a strike. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. call that a strike? Oh, I thought it was the ball. Okay. So fast I couldn't see it. It was about two inches off the ground. That brings up uh, Chandler Childress up the bat yep. now for Lunenburg. He'll be last in the super subs, and they'll come back to the top of the lineup. Yeah, he. That one's going to be an strike. error. Oh, that one's strike. One. Hmm. Okay. No balls and one strike with one out. Grand slam. Oh, oh it hit. hit ball. That one's going to go through the second baseman as a layer. Childress will get on first base. And now a super sub gets on first base, and now they come to the top of the lineup with L.J. Watson. The Lunenberg is starting to get pretty hot on the bats, and they got a 5-4 to four lead yeah, I don't over think, Crew Burke. I think Crew just did not expect him to come out. And that was in there for strike number one. No balls and one strike. I think Crew just not expecting to hit off their best pitcher this way. I mean, it's kind of surprised everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here comes the windup, the pitch. And that was going to be a little bit low for ball number one. One ball and one strike. But remember, they, they know about Parrish. They played with them. And they hit, probably hit off of them during the regular season. Yeah, this Lunenburg team seems like a team that eats fastballs for lunch. Here comes the pitch right to, uh, and they're going to oh, oh, no. a kind of a bad throw from Paris to first base. What happened, really? So and that struck out. I saw that. No, he didn't strike out. He lined out to Paris. He oh, lined okay. out to Paris, and he tried to, they tried to get Childers. And luckily, Childers was diving back. That would have, that, it really didn't harm anything, but that was close. One ball no, and one strike. Close. All the first baseman had to do was catch the ball. All right, look. Here comes down a fly ball. Robinson's having Got trouble fielding it. He did. And that's going to be the third and final out. Wow. So, one man left on base. But a grand a slam. A grand slam by Fields. Lindenberg will take a 5-4 to four lead. We will be right back. Exciting dig to you, District 5 champion, uh, Miss Semi Champions Championship. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors, they are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. 
I need a new phone. So I go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer with Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Yeah, me and Robbie was talking during the break. Two grand slams we've seen this year. One by Garns, I believe. Yeah, it's the all last year. Yeah. Two this year. Wow. And the other one, of course, uh, by Super Sub, which is um, Fields. Fields did a great job yep. there. This wow. brings up uh, Seth Finch. will be batting first for the crew. Down by one now. All right. That one's going to be in there for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Now, I still can't give it. That was a good hit at just the right time that Lunenburg needed it. <laughs> yep, Painter winds up. Swing, and that's going to be foul. Kind of foul down to the plate. Strike one, one ball and one strike. Five to four. That's more like it, folks. <laughs> now we got a ball game on our hands, right? We really do. All right, Painter winds up pitches. Strike one going to be in there for strike number two. That was a good throw. Seeing a lot more strikes than we did in the first couple yeah, of days. I have noticed that. I think, uh, yep. especially a couple of low ones, which I didn't think were strikes, but they are no, now, apparently. Here comes a wind on the pitch. And three. strike number three. I'm telling you, umpires that open that strike zone up because he's hot. <laughs> no, that was right down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That was right down the middle. That brings up uh, William Fitzgerald at the bat for Crew Burkeville. Yeah, he'll be the last of the super subs. Pete Reed will be on deck. Here comes the showing butt. Showing butt, and it is a butt. butt. And it just lets it one hopper and throws it to Foster. Foster will easily tag the base and now be there for out number one. That brings up uh, Pete Reed at the bat now for the uh, Cooper All Stars. Last time I was up, he had a nice single, went on the score, one of uh, Crew's uh, four runs. Yeah, he did a pop fly to right field that uh, the right fielder missed. Yep. So, Paytoner looks, winds up, throws it. Strike. And there for strike number one. Paytoner is throwing some good good heat right now. Yeah, Paytoner is uh, bringing the smoke these last two innings. Here he is, wind up, throws it. Oh, way inside. That one's going to be him? inside. Ball one, one ball and one strike. That's close. Nobody on. Lindenberg leads five to four. Here come Paintner wind up outside. the throw, and that's going to be outside. For ball two, two balls and one strike. Lindenberg leading five to four right here at the top of the third. Wind up the pitch. That one will be low. Now brings up ball three, three balls and one strike. Well, there's a few clouds out there, nothing threatening or rain or anything, but it does give the pitcher a little bit of shade with all this work that he's doing out there. Especially when you have 100 degree, over 100 degree heat index. Here comes the pitch. And that one's going to be in there for ball four. <laughs> Pete Reed will walk. <laughs> don't think so. Don't, you don't think that was a ball, do you, Tim? No, that was a strike. That was a strike all day long. <laughs> that brings up Dustin Reynolds. Dustin Reynolds had a nice single back in the first inning as well. I hope the umpire didn't go back. It's not going back to the old ways. <laughs> All right, here comes the, what was that? That looked like some, Tim, what was kind of ball that was trying? That was curved. I saw the thing break, but it kind of yeah. broke kind of weird down in there for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Right. That one's going to be in there for strike one. One ball and one strike. Read on first base from Crew Burkeville. Yeah, and he outs. But he got two outs. Petner looks, winds up, here comes the pitch, and a Good hard hit. hit ball to the third base. He throws it to first, he scoops it up and oh, misses it. Reed will hit on down to third base. Ball. And runners now with Reed on third base and Reynolds on first with two outs. And Lunenberg at the second major error, that, maybe third error they made so far in this game, and 
they're starting to pop. They need to kind of get a hold of it, their defense there. And yeah. Well, that brings up Garns. And this close to a game, that could very well cost yep. it for you. It's got to be careful because Carnes can hit it out of here. A double and a two RBIs for a day. Hard hit ball. This one's going to go straight up in the air into the stratosphere and just barely hits the crew Brookville dugout. And now all that will go into strike one. That ball went straight up in the air just about. and <laughs> Like a rocket, huh? Yep. Looked like one of those bottle rockets when I used to shoot off when I was a kid. <laughs> Only thing it needed was a parachute. Here it comes getting it, winds up. I mean, the painter winds up. Reynolds takes a huge, huge. I can't believe they didn't pick him right there. Yeah, close. He needs All to Hoover be had to do was stand, just take a couple steps forward. Yep. Hoover playing way back to the grass. Now here comes the pitch. This one is going to be almost like a bunt. Interesting. And did they get him? Yes. Third and final out. And that was nice close. play by the catcher. That was nice play. Yes. Beautiful play by the catcher. So. Two men left on base. Nobody scored. Good scoop by Hoover. Yep. As we go now to like the bottom of the third, it's uh, five to four in favor of Lunenburg. We will be right back right after these messages. Almost like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. All right, back here at Lynn Hard Field in Lindenburg, John Hart, Robbie Hart, Tim on top of the White Elephant. And uh, of course, you can hear his comments and help us with the color commentary as well. And Jenny Hart taking all the DVD sales and everything right behind the back window. Well, Parrish is, uh, will remain in as pitching. And he's actually, Parrish shouldn't even be, even be warmed up by now. He should be ready to go. I'm sure he's plenty warm. <laughs> yeah. That brings no, that's up sure. Malik Foster to bat for the uh, Lunenburg All-Stars. Lunenburg just moves now to increase their lead. They're sitting pretty after a good inning in the second. All right, here we go. Here comes the wind-up and the pitch. Whoa, this way one's inside. going to be inside for ball one. You know, one thing about Pierce, she's a fastball pitcher, and you wonder how long he'll be able to hold up at that speed in this heat. Here comes the next pitch, and it's an every strike one. One ball and one strike. That was a strike, huh? No, they call it no, a ball. that was a ball. I look like a ball from my That's left. a ball, yeah. Okay. That was definitely a ball. All right, here comes down the wind-up and the pitch. This one's strike. going to be a chop that will be in there for... Strike one, chopped out. Yeah, but May uh, Malik had to swing. That would have been a strike no matter what he oh, did. Oh, yeah. That was heading right down the middle with a uh, with a bullet behind it. All right, Parrish now, look, winds up. Strike Takes two. Takes a big one in there for strike number two. No doubt about that one either. So two and two now is the count. For crew, uh, here comes the wind up and the pitch. And a swing and a miss, strike number three. That's what you want if you're uh, your uh, crew. Three. Start knocking out these batters here fast and quick. Yeah, keep that pitch down. 
tip pitch count down. Yeah, and we'll start adding up. He's already up to 20, 19 pitches now already. That brings up, is this Peyton here to talk? No, this is uh, Ethan Hoover. Hoover. Hoover is up. All right. Ethan Hoover fouls it off, and that's going to go out in the parking lot once again for strike one. All right, here it comes down the hit. This is going to be, he falls down and tries to throw it. Oh, it. the ball. Oh, man. Hoover will remain at first base. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. You've got to give Parrish credit for trying that. He was oh, down yeah. on the ground and throwing that one. Well, it could have turned into a disaster, but Hoover just kind of hangs out at first base as I ain't going nowhere. Well, that was a great backup by the uh, right fielder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. Here comes down. Oh, the ooh, right in the elbow. Yeah, ooh. that was all. The old hurt elbow, and with one out, that puts runners on first and second. First, second, one out. That okay, will bring though, up uh, Goodwin, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was no one needed to hit in the elbow there. That brings up Jeffrey Goodwin, correct. The catcher for the uh, Lundberg All-Stars. and gets to get off all his catcher equipment before he can get up there and bat. So Parrish, believe it or not, some say some of the best pitch, uh, pitcher in, in, you know, in this tournament. He's having some, He's having some a little bit of trouble. What's his uh, stats, Robbie? He's up to 22 pitches so far. 15 strikes, 7 balls. Now about 50%. Runners on first and second with one out for Lunenburg. Here right. comes the pitch. That one zooms down here for ball one. Perry says, my goodness, this is... Harder than, than, than uh, travel ball. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss. Strike one, one ball and one strike. I think what's getting it is the heat. I guess it is hot one. Oh, yeah, there. I believe it is, too. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you could, any pitcher can take this type of heat very long. All right. He winds up the big double Let's zero, do. strike number two. Hey, stop pulling your head and hit the thing. <laughs> stop pulling your head and hit the thing. Yep, don't want to keep, got to keep your head down and hit the ball. Painter winds up. Goodness, uh, chops it back. That'll be in there. Still coming in one ball and two strikes. Lunenburg threatening to score again with uh, runners on first and second. Pate, uh, here comes uh, Barry, winds up, swings, and he doesn't get anything on that one. That's going to be in there for strike two. Strike three. Strike three. That yeah. brings up Deshaun Moore, center fielder for the... Uh, Lindenburg All-Stars. So two outs. Deshaun walked last time he was up. Two outs showing up on the scoreboard. Lindenburg got a slight one-run lead. Runners on first and second. See what uh, Flowers can do. A Foster with him. Fowler. In there is ball number one. That was ball. I thought he swung the bat. Oh, no, he yeah. swung. I'm <laughs> swung. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell. And I wasn't looking over at the monitors. Got a coach in the way. It's a Sean Moore to bat. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, way that inside. one's going to be outside. outside. That's going to be ball. Ball. One and one. It's a count. Both teams here deserve to be where they're at in this tournament. Yeah. Both two great teams. They fought their way past. And they had fought their way past. Pretty good opponents. Had, yep, so you got to ha hand it to them. Here comes the wind up, the pitch. Strike. Swing and a miss, and there for strike two. So if Parrish can find the handle on this thing, he can really throw some baseballs. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Hard and this one's a hard hit ball. No. This will be foul. And the count remained one ball and two strikes. Foul balls can work a pitcher as well in this game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Every throw just uses energy. Every, every throw. You, 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 throw. Kinda, you have a finite amount of energy, and if you use it all up on foul balls, you're in trouble. It ain't nothing like a one batter will sit here foul off ten balls. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Here comes the pitch, wow. and that one's going to be ball number two. Two and two is the count. Was that, how was that? Was that close, Tim? No, that was, uh, that low, was low outside. Low outside? Yeah, that was way low from my angle there. All right. Read the two, two and two is the count. Last two and two count. 
Thomas Trevor struck him out. That was going to be high. The count goes full. And both runners on first and second look like they're going to try to advance, but no, they go back wisely. Hey, I should strike him now. And it's a full count situation with two outs. Thomas don't want to load up the bases right now. That's for sure. Here comes now the wind up the pitch. Right by right number three, and Thomas gets a strike out there. Couldn't come at a better time either. Top of the fourth. So, as we go to the top of the fourth, uh, two men left on, nobody scores. So, it is five to four in favor of Lindenburg. We'll be right back, right after these messages from the south side. Sports Network, do not go away. What does your world sound like? That's geography, the music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Okay, we're back here. It is five to four in favor of Lunenburg, and the big difference was an earlier Grand Slam home run uh, that was uh, by Fields. Oh, good hit there! Oh. And there's a good hit now that uh, Parrish will oh, bad hit over. on first Parrish base, keep on going. overthrown it, and he will go to second base, and now he's going to try third. to go to third. Millie take home. No, he won't. <laughs> but. This could be the difference to tie this ball game up with no outs. Foul ball. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. That was a lot of action for nothing, wasn't it? Thomas just keeps on going right back to home. He broke bat, too. He broke bat? He broke a bat. Wow. I got fast. Because it hit on the handle, that carbon fiber. Oh, yeah. And Matthew wonders why we won't, we won't buy him a carbon fiber bat right there. Yep. I told Matthew, if he wants a $500 bat, he better, look, he better learn to make his own. Yeah, he better quit being lazy. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one made out of, uh, I don't know, titanium or something. <laughs> hey, titanium is expensive. You may not want to do that. That's like really expensive. It's always $500 bats. They break every time you turn around. Okay, here we go. Here comes Peyton and West wind up in the pitch. This one's going to be down. That's going to be one ball and one strike. I tell you, that was a lot of work for, for, Thomas, for poor yeah. Thomas to run all the way around the mound. Just call, be called back for a foul ball. <laughs> Painter winds up and pitches again. Ball. This one's low again. Ball two. Uh, Parrish walked last time he was up. Richard did go in to uh, score one of, uh, Ten. one of Cruz runs. High inside. That's his nemesis. Here comes now the pitch. That was low outside, though. That was going to be low outside, ball three, three balls and one strike. Good eye, good eye by Thomas. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's being patient. Tom is a very well coached, very, a very good ball player. And as oh, he's striking. striking. He can't believe it. He turns. Strike was all, I mean, Parrish is already on his way to first base. He, he, what? No. That was a strike, though. I didn't tell him Thomas that. Oh, boy. Here comes the pick by Pittner. Swing and a miss. And a strike. A foul. The foul ball. It's already two strikes. A foul ball. Yeah, foul ball. Ron is 32. 32 is the count. 
Yep. Peyton is still is now getting up to pitches. He's up to 62 so far. Peyton now winds up. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, that high outside pitch. I mean, Mark high right inside there. pitch. And he got him. That brings up Ricky Aguilera. Ricky uh, struck out last time today. 0 for 1. Yep. Pop and Phil comes in. Here comes a pitch. That one's going to be an in for ball one. One ball and no strikes now. Ricky Aguilera. Peyton here now winds up for Lindenberg delivers. It's in there two for ball one. Two balls and two, two balls. strikes. Two, two balls. Two, two balls. balls and no strikes. <laughs> you stop looking at the scoreboard. It gets you in trouble. I keep telling you that. All right, two and zero count. Here comes the pitch, swinging and miss, strike one. Now it's two balls, one strike. Maybe you're just predicting the future. Mm. I won't predict one future. It's hot. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Low for ball three, three and one count. The painter says, "Well, one thing I can do is just kind of keep throwing my best, keep throwing despite strikes. of the heat and everything. Just throw strikes." And let my defense back me up. Here we go. Here comes the pitch Come way on. high. Ball four. Aguilera will walk. Back. Joseph Atkinson coming up next. Like I said, Aaron. Painter's got a lot of ball, a lot of throws now. He's up yeah. to uh, 68. Painter just didn't bend his back on that one there. I mean, keeping the back straight up. Yeah, but you know, we get tired. The first thing to go oh, yeah. is a form. Yeah. Here comes now the pitch. In there for ball one. We've seen a lot of fantastic and great pitchers get burned out just in one inning because of all the, you know. He's gone four. Yeah. Peyton winds up. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. And then strike number one, number two, number one, one and one is a count. Chip Jones will be on deck. Crew Burkeville. Here comes the pitch. And that was an end for strike number two. Crew Burkeville is having a terrible time to try to get that. He finds himself down by one to try to get that time run around and tie his ball game up. That's three shutout innings by 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 Rain. Oh, and they're hitting the ball. This will go in and uh -oh. he flips on the grass. And here comes the runner. They're going to try to send him in. They're going. He's going to make it. Tied score. And he got the guy in a pickle, and he got him. got him at third base. Wow, now bring up out number two. Two. Good defense, I must say, but that finally brings that run around. That puts him in there at five to five. And we got ourselves a good ball game, Robbie. It's a close one. Yep. Two outs now against the... Uh, Crew Burger All Stars with uh, Trip Jones coming up to bat now. Oh, Here comes way high. The pitch. Way high in there for ball one. He's standing straight up. He's not bending his back, falling through. I think he's just so tired, he's not even thinking of his form right now. Yeah. All right. Painter now looks, winds up. Here comes the pitch. That was going to be in there for ball two. Two balls and those strikes. And I don't know if uh, Hoover is available for them or not. Yeah, that's yeah, this one is a, well, if not, he may not have many innings left, and he probably want to save somebody in case they win his ball game. Yeah. By the five, they got a very good chance on doing just that. Peyton going to have to pull them through, and so is the, Lunenburg defense if they want to, you know, keep the game. That was a nice throw in there for strike two, two and two is a count. Nobody on though. Here comes down a pitch, swing, foul. Foul, and so uh, it's going to bring up two and two is still a count. Ron Robinson will be on deck for Crew Bird Bowl. Here comes Painter, winds up and delivers. Ooh, way inside, ball That was going to be inside, ball three. That brings up another full count. 
the Trib Giants. Here comes Pena, winds up, and he chops this one foul. Another foul. Yep, and the count remains full. Good game here. Here at the top of the fourth, we got five to five. Two rivalries pretty much beating up on each other in this heat. Hoover is still playing right there on the edge of the grass, playing way, way back. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, ball goes. In there for ball four. <laughs> That brings up, uh, I believe, Vaughn Robertson will be coming up the bat now. Spencer will, Scott Spencer will be on deck. Well, actually, I don't know. He's a super sub. Yeah, I'm not sure so what they'll find out where his number is over there. He'll probably drop down to uh, Nolan Snyder. We'll see. Here comes down the pitch. Outside. That one's going to be high and outside, ball one. And I hate to say this, it seems like uh, Josh Peter may just be oh, running yes. empty now. Yeah. How many pitches is that? He's 81. 81? Yeah, he's, he's Here gone. comes a pitch way outside. Jones will go ahead and hit on down to second base. He gets it easily standing up. 82 pitches. Yep. 82. I'm sure Lunenberg wants to do something. And it looks like they're going to yeah. call a timeout. Especially out. in this heat. Yeah, he's, yep. he's burned out. Yeah. I mean, I would anyone would be. That's a 80. lot of pitches. He did pretty good, though. I mean, uh. So oh, yeah, he puts a great game. Will they keep him in there or not? I don't know. They don't think they're uh, grabbing someone right away. And that's the only reason I say that they don't have to keep him in it because they may not have anybody ready. They, they, haven't been, they haven't even been warming anybody up. So unless they're playing out in the field somewhere, that could that's be. a possibility. Yeah. Well, this will be the second pitcher. My second pitcher comes in for Lunenburg. Yep, they stay in there. Yep. He's uh, 82 pitches so far. 46 yeah. strikes, 36 balls. He's walked four, five hits against him. Not a bad night all, all the way around, but it's a lot of pitches, man. Oh, yeah. In his heat, here comes down a pitch. There and that go. was going to be in there. Prince T. Wright, number one. Two balls and one strike. They got two outs. There's nothing more to they love to get those runners on first, a second base. Rather, here comes the pitch. Oh, blew that one. He blew that pitch. Now bring up ball three. Hey, he's got to bring They're in the middle of their lineup, so they need to get these guys struck out if they can. Pentner winds up. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be high, and that's ball four. That's the second walk in a row. Now bring up Scott Spencer. Maybe. Who is? Is it Spencer? Is oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. That's uh, Spencer's a super sub. Should bring up no one actually. Number ten is. is, is no, this is Spencer. Oh, it is. Yeah, number ten. Oh, oh, hit. Hard hit ball. That's going to go to second base. Get that third and final out. Good job. And so one run will score, and one run left on base. It's five to five. In favor of Lunenburg, we'll be right back. Well, folks, the only trouble is my computer went dead. <laughs> Probably so did my audio stream, but... Uh, that's why we don't plug it in. <laughs> yep, that's what happens when we don't plug the computer in. So in that case... We just have a little bit the sounds of the crowd, as we call them. Well, could get Barry Moore from the Bobcat over here to sing. <laughs> well, folks, just kind of bear with us. We'll get everything back going again. What's and we'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, Call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe. 
The accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. All right, we're back here at Leonard Field, folks. And we have five to five, and it's a tight one. First one up is a ball. No strike. Oh, it was a strike. I didn't see that. Okay. And this is going to be a hard hit ball to the second baseman. He throws it to Robinson out number one. Yeah, that. One of the reasons that he probably brought Thomas Parrish in is not just try to strike him out, but mainly try to contain being such a close game. Yeah, how long were they, are they going to keep Thomas Parrish in? That's the question. They, they have to win, so they have to keep him in. And All right. this is... Cameron Field, I believe. Oh, and Tommy oh, Parrish, on a the fastball. Oh, no, hits, arm. Hits him right in the arm, and that hurts. Yeah. Thank you like a man, Cameron. Ouch. You can going to say Cameron Field hit a home run last time. Yeah, I mean, that's, gonna, that's smart, sir. Mm, that hurts. You know, as fast as Thomas throws, too, that's, uh, that's a painful one. Oh. This, this kid that hit a grand slam off of uh, Thomas. Yep. That goes to the top of the batting order with L.J. Watson now. L.J. Watson is, is over two for the day. They're still looking yeah, at still, his arm. He's yeah, that got one a bruise like on it. You can see it's swollen up already. Oh, man, they both need to put some ice on that thing. Oh, I get the camera off there. Look at that. Oh. Definitely see the little a little mark there where it got him. Around the elbow, that's a bad place to be hit, as a, too, you know. And we always say as fast as, you know, as hard as Thomas Parrish throws, too, that's a painful one there. He's going to stay in there. He's tough. Yep. Like, ah, this little market don't bother me. All right. Runner on first base, though, with one out. Here comes out the pitch. That one's going to be an air for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Thomas Parrish looks. Here comes the wind up. And this one's going to be a right to first base. He will try to get him, and it's going to be wow. out. And Watson couldn't believe it. He says, no, no, no. But that looked like Ty goes to the runner. That was exactly. close. That's two that guy's missed there with uh, with Watson. Wow. <laughs> Watson don't like him, I don't think. <laughs> that brings up uh, Josh Paytner, who's uh, one for two, had a nice double. Back in the first. And that one's going to be in there for strike number one. Runner on second base. He represents the go-ahead run with two outs, though. Parrish now winds up with a pitch, and this one's going to be a hard hit. And oh. it's into left field. Runner is late. Coming on. He's going to try to run him in, and he will stay in there. And his tie is broken. It's 6-5 to five in favor of Lunenberg. Man, what a game we have going on today, huh? And just great hit there by uh, by Josh Pagner. I'm going to admit something right now. I think that I underestimated the hitting power of Lunenburg. Yeah. Um, I think everyone underestimated Lunenburg. Yeah. Remember, they weren't really supposed to be that great of a team this year, and they just surprised everyone. Yep, here Hard comes hit. a high fly ball to left field. That's it's fair. Going to be fair. fair. It's going to be fair. One run will score. And a nice stand-up double, and now it is. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It hit right there on the line. Oh, they call it a foul. No, they call it a foul. <laughs> <laughs> the dust actually. Gee, man, he. Oh, the, the dust Everyone actually kind of runs back now. up on that, and that's going to be an interesting. Did you see it on the camera? No, I couldn't, the camera couldn't come around far enough to catch it. I didn't see it at all, unfortunately. Well, I'll say this. The dust actually flew up when it hit. Fair ball. So, they are calling fair. All right, they call it fair, right? No, how they called they? it foul. So, I think it goes right, foul ball. so we are how many strikes? One strike or two strikes now? That goes back to tied score, don't it? No. All right. They're still up one. Yeah. Oh, There's uh, another oh, hit. Now when there's a hit, Parrish is having trouble bringing the ball to the center with people getting in. That's the second time he's hit the ball. No, that's third. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It is a third. One, two. Yep, that's the third one. All right. Who was that guy here? That Foster? That was uh, Malik Foster, yeah. Mm. Another another victim of a wild pitch there tonight, today. 
they're gonna have a talk with him up there at the uh yeah. That brings up Ethan Hoover. Hoover, Hoover is two for two. He's had a pretty good day, all things considered. Made on base both times. Yep. Wasn't able to quite get around to the plate, but still, nice little base hits er earlier. Six to five is the score. And they're warning somebody. I didn't hear that warning, did you? No, I didn't hear. Now I got headphones on. Yeah, I think I think you warned him it's like don't don't be throwing a bat down when you're mad or something like that. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be an air ball. One. Falls to Ramoto on down to spite his sore body where he got hit. That puts a runner with two outs, but on second base and third. Third and second. Runners on uh, second and third is the base running situation. Here comes a hit in. Oh, here we go. That's going to score another run for Lunenburg. They will not get the guy at third base, and that's going to be seven to five. Well, they can't deny that one, huh? Yeah, that was definitely a hit. Right down, right up, right <laughs> up above Parrish's head. <laughs> they, uh, umpire definitely can't call that one foul. And, uh, you know, Parrish did reach for it, too. Just a little bit too high. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, strike. Right there, strike number one. Yeah, it's right down the gut. 0-1 oh, is the count. Seven to five in favor of Lunenburg. They've come out with the sticks, even with the hard throwing uh, Thomas Parrish. Here comes down the wind up the pitch. Here's the chopper to Parrish. Parrish easily throw it to Robinson for the third and final out. Two men left on, two runs score by Lunenburg, and they got the lead seven to five. We'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No. Not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stat. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. <laughs> All right, we're back live right here in Lund Lunenburg, Virginia, Linhard Field, 7-5. to five. And I don't know one thing, Lunenburg's actually right at home in this field because this is what the field that they play on. A home field advantage, maybe yep. there's something to that. Paytoner, looks like Paytoner's going to stay in, and he must be exhausted. Lunenburg, of course, uh, Cambridge and, uh, Lund uh, Cambridge and, of course, Victoria, all the... Young fellas that uh, go to uh, school around here, they all uh, kind of in the same leg. Uh, seven to five is the, is the score. And uh, as we go into the top of the fifth, been a pretty good game, though, and it's been fairly close. No runaway here. And a grand slam home run by Fields earlier. We... We're going to see what takes place. All right, here we are. Uh, he's at how many pitches, 85 or 87? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just kind of hold on. We'll let you know. That's a good question. I know he's way up there. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to quick this DVD. Now, he is up to 86, 86 pitches. pitches. Yeah. 
Pettner winds up oh, way, high. way high for ball one. Yeah, where this could be kind of their undoing here with uh, this many pitches on this yeah, on this pitcher. Bring, bring Hoover in. I give him just one batter. If he walks him. All right, here comes the wind up in the pitch. And that's going to be in there for strike number one. One ball, one strike. Who is this up for uh, for a crew? Uh, I have a uh, Pete Reed, right? Yeah, uh, Pete. Yeah, this is Reed. Yep, it sure is Reed. And Reed's We're got a two balls and no and one strike against him. Top of their lineup. Yep, yep. <laughs> they need to get the stick on the ball here and try to get some runners on to try to catch the lead if they find it down by two. They led it one part of this game, but. Right. And it's going to be an for strike two. You got you know, to give him credit. He's throwing good yeah. still. Yep. You know, in next inning will be four innings for uh, Thomas if yep. he pitches. That's true. Hainer looks, winds up. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. Uh oh, and that's going to go to second base. But he tries to throw it. I will not get him. And Reed will get a single at first base. This brings up Dustin Reynolds, who's been having an excellent game today. Uh, two good singles today. So he's two for two. Third time at bat. That's a great stop by the second baseman. That was a good stop. I, I, that could, that would have been a double had it got past him. I, I, the right fielder wasn't even ready for it. See what Mr. Reynolds ball. can do. That first one in there is ball number one. One <laughs> ball and no strikes. Try and run is at the plate. Painter winds up, pitches, and this one's going to be foul back. Strike number one, one ball and one strike. You have to admit, this year the loss bracket's been where the best games have been so far. Oh, yeah. Doing national and doing American. Then you got the uh, this game today. Wind up in the pitch. Hard hit ball. Uh, and that's going to be popped up. And, they, and everybody get a yes, they did. Got it. Oh, got it. Oh, Double play, great play. Got Reed, took a little bit too far. too far off and was caught when that fly ball was caught. And it short, uh, was it the shortstop or the second base? That was short. Short, that was short stop short. threw him out. That was great play. Great heads up. That was good, yeah. That could be a pretty much death blow for Crew Burkfo. That's the... Uh, By that man right there. Yep. Jaquel guards the bat. Jaquel is oh, I mean one for two today. The tired Pettner swinging a miss, strike one. Yeah, so Pitches that one. One and one comes to count. It's something bad like that happens. It just, I mean, it just affects oh, yeah. the entire team. Oh yeah. Well, hitting is contagious. Unfortunately, so is, you know, bad news. Bad news. Ball. That was going to be near for ball two. Two balls and one strike. With one ball. No, 21, 21, 2 and yep. 1. So the tired Pentner, 87 pitches, winds up here and delivers. This is going to be a chop, oh. and it barely gets over the second baseman. Took a really weird hop. And Darns will be up there. Thomas Parrish will be up there, and he represents the tied run. If that had been another six months, he would have grew a couple inches. He would have had that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just above the head, huh? Nice try, and I mean, nice effort, but the ball hit that hard infield, and that ball just went straight up into the air and just bounced right over him. Thomas Parrish is up. Here comes Pittner now with a pitch. That one's going to be high, and there goes Garns down to second base. One ball, no strikes now to Thomas Parrish. Garns on second base from Crew Burkle. Here comes down to pitch. This one's going to be low for ball two, two balls, and no strikes. Probably don't want to give Parrish too much to hit, even if they put the run on second base, but Parrish struck out the last time. Here comes the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and there for strike one. That was, again, that was a high inside pitch, and Parrish went for it all the way. Yeah, it seems like the high inside one is Parrish's kryptonite. Yep. Two and one. Two balls and one strike. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. And once again, at high inside, the count comes two and two. Same exact pitch. Way, way high. Yep. 
Runner on second base. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. Spike number three. And he spikes him out to the third and final out. He goes to the bottom of the fifth. No run score. Two men left on base. And as we go to the bottom of the fifth, folks, it is seven to five in favor of Lunenburg. We'll be right back right after this. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. To Briggs, make more friends and express their individuality. T T. When they learn to play the music, act or paint or dance or write creatively. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. All right, we are back here at Lynn Hart Field. I'm John Hart, Robert Hart, Tim on top of the trailer, top of the Jennifer trailer. Hart, and we're here at the bottom of the fifth. Jeffrey Goodwin will be batting first for the uh, Lunenburg All-Stars. He is the catcher, so he had to get unsuited and get all that hot, heavy catching equipment off before he can come in. So here he comes now. Lunenburg now with a 7-5 to five lead. And earned every one of them. Yep, they've done. They really have. They have earned. It's not been a whole lot of walks, too many walks. And I think Parrish has actually hit more people than he has walked. He has hit more people than his walks. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Five. And they're high for ball one. In fact, Parrish really has hit more people than his walks so far in this. One ball and no strikes. Here comes the next pitch. It's in there for ball two. Parrish is having trouble. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the key why the crew's not in the lead right now. The Parrish just having a hard time today finding his targets. Can't we now, I mean, uh, Parrish winds up, throws this one, ball three. Oh, boy. You know, it, and Parrish came in in the second inning, too, so this is his fourth inning. Yeah. Oh, it's all or nothing. And it's an error for strike number one. one. Well, the thing is, you've got to go for the win with your oh, best yeah. people. Exactly. And that's what Crew Burkeville is trying to do. They find themselves down by two. Here comes the pitch. This one's going to be a chop. It's going to go foul. And that's going to be in for strike number two. Yep. Full I mean, count. Be right. you got to, I mean, this is a lost bracket. If you lose oh, here, yeah. you go home. So you got to play the win and let tomorrow kind of fall where it may. <laughs> You'll fight that battle once you get to it, but right now you just kind of got to do it. You got to yeah. win this one first. Charlotte and Dewey Nationals are going to be playing next. Here comes now the pitch, and this one's going to be a ball and hard hit ball, and it gets through the shortstop there, and it's going to be a nice base hit for Lindenberg. That was a nice one. They are continue to put that stick on the ball. This brings up Deshaun Moore. Deshaun over one for a day with a walk. And they're going to stop. Nothing a whole lot that uh, that Crew Burkeville can do that they haven't done already. That's why they brought Thomas Parrish in. Yeah, they had to. You know. Helmet malfunction. Oh, they're giving the runner a uh, a uh, glass of water there. It's uh -huh. hot. I'm gonna, with that, I think uh, that reminds me to drink well, a, on one of myself. Look, I'm on my second bottle, too. How many Gatorades are you up to up there, Tim? I'm on my third one. Dude, I only bought you four, man. <laughs> it's been hot. <laughs> You're going to run out of your supply on the first game. That's fine. It'll be cooler on the second game. <laughs> All right, here comes the wind up with the pitch. Right. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Right. 
No balls and one strike hey, now. Parrish winds up, here comes the pitch. And this is gonna be a chopper to the second base. He tags the guy out at third and it's safe, and well, they get him out. So well, he tagged him, he missed him, then threw it to second base and got the force out. Uh, you know what, if he would have got safe, that would have been a controversy. I'm gonna say right now, you know why? Because that runner ran outside the ba baseline. All right, well at least there's no arguments there, so one out. Five to seven is the score. Sun's starting to get towards the trees here in Leonard Field. There's the pitch in there for strike one. No balls in one strike. Close game, seven to five. One run on runner on base for Lunenburg and a chop up and it's gonna go to Robinson. And I know the infield fly rule will took effect, but the guy gets back in time anyway. In that case, that comes out to be the second out. I like a game with a lot with, with, with very little walks. It's the yeah. kind of game I like. Here comes the wild the pitch. This is gonna be a chopper down the third base line, foul ball. Strike number one. The last chance for Crew Burkeville as they come up. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's in there. For strike one. Strike two, actually. No balls and two strikes. Here comes the pitch. And this is going to be a chopper down the first baseline. And Cameron Field here is uh, can you piece him. He uh, Last time he was up, of course, he got hit by a pitch there in that elbow. And the time before that, had that grand slam home run, which... Grand salami. <laughs> that was a big hit, no doubt about it. Hit of the game so far. Parrish winds up, and he hits the ball, and this is going to go foul towards the white oh, elephant. Hit the elephant. <laughs> and it hits the elephant. Kabumo. You okay up there, Tim? Oh, yeah, I tried to catch it. <laughs> Well, that's why we have a metal roof above our head. And Tim has a cloth one. Must be break, break proof glass here. We do have break proof glass. It's it been hit a few times so far. It's done good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here goes Thomas Parrish. Winds up, and this is swing. And it's a foul ball. He's staying alive there. Yep. No balls and two strikes. Yeah. Speaking no of things knocking down, Jenny hits the uh, board back here and knocks it off. All right, here goes Thomas Parrish. He pitches back, foul back. Another yeah. foul. And the count remain. No balls and two strikes. Field hanging tough. He is hanging tough, that's for sure. Field, as we know, of course, is a good hitter. That's proven by that home run earlier. All right, here comes the windup and the pitch. Strike. Swing and a miss. That's in there for strike three. And now retire to side. No run score as we go to the top of the six. It is seven to five. We'll be right back right after this. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Two steps. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Yeah, 
All right, back here. Last chance for a crew Burkdale to try to get some runs on the board. They need at least two to tie this ball game up. Coming to the bat will be Ricky Aguilera. So, ball is swung and fouled off. Strike number one. No balls and one strike now to Ricky Aguilera. Here comes the pitch. Hard oh, hit ball. Good oh, catch, ball. To the, uh, to the uh, second base, he one hands it and out in number one, just like that. Yeah, that was fast, yeah. too. Yeah, it was. By the way, Peyton was staying in the pitch. Here comes the pitch. He's pitched this whole game. This one's going to be a, a chopper, oh. and it's not going to be in time for his base. Hooper trying to stretch it out, but Atkinson got on there with one out. The tie and run is at the plate. That brings up in time, that brings up Mr. Trip Jones. He is, he is the batter right now. He is 0 for 1 and a walk today. All right. Peytoner now winds up. Here comes the pitch. This one's going to be low. Ball one. And, uh, Agassin will take one on down to second base on a little bit of a miscue between the pitcher and the catcher. The catcher fumbles the ball a little bit. They're going to take off down towards second. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, kind of the rule of thumb. Pittner winds up. Pitch. And this one's going to be a up to third base. This could be close. And it is. We'll try to try to get me a third. Oh, go out of there. Game over. And this game is over. What a great defensive plays by Lindenberg. We're going to be right back in just a few minutes right here on the Southside Sports Network. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, 